Gillian White, as an aside, do you feel any resentment given the circumstances that he's finding himself in and not for the first time? That that he could have been in a position where he was artificially advanced in fights with you that stopped you from having opportunities that you might have got if you'd have beaten him. Was he on drugs when he boxed me? That's my question. No, I don't I don't know if you can answer that, but but you've got strong views on that area. So does it make you think that hang on? The you Oscar, know what, the, the you know what? I, I'm I'm I am i am not in a position right now to try to kick a man while he's down. That's you not know. what I'm asking you to do. No, but but, but it's, it's like because I I I don't have a ten percent to talk about it. And me, it's either I talk shit about you or I don't. You know, and right now I like I I just feel bad for him because he lost a massive p p big payday. Right. So how does that how does that okay then how does that correlate with your view then that people should be banned for ten years? And effectively out of the out of the sport if they take performance enhancing drugs. Mm -hmm. My only my only question is not for you to kick Dillian White when he's down. Is to is, is did it ever occur to you? Let me rephrase it then. Did it ever has it ever occurred to you that that you lost opportunities by potentially a fighter? That twice we've had this conversation about Dillian White. We had it after Oscar Rivas when he was brought in front of the British Boxing Board of Control, and the argument is that he got away of one there. And you've now got the situation with the with the AJ fight. Did it ever has it ever played into your psyche that maybe he was in that situation with me and maybe as a result of that I lost fights that might have gotten me world title shots and got me big dough? I know, I know. But the answer is no, it's no. Yeah, but, but you see the thing is, I don't know because I don't do the testing. No, you understand? I don't do the testing. You know, I don't I don't I'm not part of the British border control that people decide what rules are made, do you understand? No. But I can put on the rules, say, you know what? If you take drugs to fight another man's son. You should get ten year ban. Yeah, you know in football they got it. Box has got banned for four years. Why can't it be in boxing? Why in boxing we have to prolong it of like on this and this, on this and this. But when it's really truly a problem, they're right. Oh, you know we didn't like that misconduct of the game, so we're gonna find you. You know, but when it's the real deal now, it's oh, you know take take six months off. Six months off is. By the time you announce your next fight, no, I'm with you. Forget about it. Uh, you know what? Ten years is your career gone. Yeah. Well, you, oh, you be, wow. Oh no! Wait for 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 the B sample. People don't get it. When the drug test comes to your house, yeah, they knock on your door. The moment you answer your door, they're not letting you out of sight. Yeah, yeah. You want to go take a piss? You go in the toilet with the guy. You bring out your Johns. You put it in a pot, and he's looking. Don't think he's not looking. He is actually looking where he's, he's like this. Yeah, checking you out. Yeah. And then, okay, and you tell you put it there. And you put it there, you close the cup, and then you wash your hands, you bring it back to wherever you're doing your test in the kitchen sometimes. And then it's okay, pick two, pick pick a box. You pick a box. So in that box is A and B. So when people say I wait for the B sample to come out, what's in A is it's gonna be in B because yeah. it's the same urine for the same time. Absolutely right. <laughs> Absolutely. So I don't how many times you've how many times have you had a drug official visit your house? Oh man, they've come so many times. Yeah. You know, you know the worst thing for me is, I I tell you the one day, yeah, kiss the band is the last gig they're playing, yeah. Gene Simmons. Oh my goodness, and I got and, and I was still with Frank, and Frank got me tickets, ring and like backstage everything. I'm pumped up, yeah. I get dressed up, I go, I go I even paint my face half white and all that shit. I'm all geared up, yeah. hanging your tongue out. Yeah, I'm all geared up, yeah. I get in my car. I just finished taking a shower and a, and a, and a shit, yeah. So I'm I'm all cleared up, yeah. <laughs> Bit more information than I needed. Oh you? Jesus Christ! As I get in my car, I'm about to start my car, I hear. I'm like, this can't be police. So I'm like, yeah, what's up? Because drug test, <laughs> drug test for what? We're gonna see Kiss well, concert. Uh, drug test. Oh, we need to drug test you. Uh, doping. I'm like. Uh, it's not, it was not vital. What's the other one called? I forgot the name of the advertising company. I UCAD. Forgot. UCAD, yeah. yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? I just finished being in the shower and everything. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll do this quickly anyway, yeah? So I get in the house, I think, Evian bottle, Evian bottle. Do you know what time I went to the toilet? This was at six o'clock. Bloody one o'clock, fella. I was pissed. <laughs> you miss Kiss. I miss Kiss. You don't understand. I was you mean, mate? And then, uh, and then, so I get tested every time, and they come early morning now because I always tell them I want to be tested early morning, you know, because my blood is just yeah. like before my, you know, you know, you know, when you have that morning piss, 
that's when I want to get tested. Good to know. Yeah, because if I miss that morning piece, that means they'll be testing me at two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Can't be asked. So if I'm ever going to the UK testing business, I'll knock on your door early in the morning. Yeah, morning piece is Good the enough. best one. So going back to this observation, this grotesquely unfair observation that you've made about people like me and the negativity, and it stems... Hold on, hold on. I, I, Can no, I no, ask no. you a question? Are you not a negative person? No, sometimes? no, I'm positive, mate. Oh. I believe in. The, I believe. Well, so why do you have arguments with uh, with with uh, with Frank Smith? Because you know, I don't Eddie like Hay. bullshit. Huh? And I don't take bullshit from anybody, and I'm but, not fighting of anybody, and huh? I'm not fighting. And I call people out for what they are. So let me let me go back to the point I was going to make, and then you can turn around and tell me why I'm wrong or right. Right. So your initial perception of the observations I made on you was me telling you how wonderful the first two fights were against Dillian White, and how impressive you'd been, and what a warrior you were and what a barnstorming fight they were. And then I had the audacity to put a critical observation in there, which is, I don't really want to see it again. I've so, seen, but hold on, I haven't finished yet. I don't want to see it again. So you then get your knickers in a twist and turn around and say to me that I'm being negative and you ask me a question. I say to you, well, I want to see world level fights. And you say, what's world level? And I say, the level that beats you every time you step up to it. And since that point, we get on fine, you and I. But since that point, you're, you've always got this perception that I'm negative. And a lot of boxers have got this perception. Josh Taylor's got the hump. Tyson Fury's got the hump. Because as long as you're praising, as long as I'm praising and saying, oh, it's a brilliant fight, Derek. You're a warrior. You're barnstorming fights. You're an absolute credit to yourself. Josh Taylor, brilliant, brilliant. But he lost to Jack Cattrall. Tyson Fury, fantastic. Best fighter of a generation. Best heavyweight. But by the way, you know, not fighting Usyk's not good enough. All of a sudden, you start crying. And this thin skin thing comes out about negativity and about criticism. And I'm saying, well, which part of these comments that I'm making are unfair? But you have to understand, you say something yeah, on radio, yeah? And then you got about three, four million people listening to you. At the same time, we cannot respond to your questions because we want to defend ourselves. So it's better if you're going to say something... I want to get you on the phone. I'm going to say something bad or negative about you, yeah? So we're going to put you online. Hey, oh, so I'll go to so-and-so. You know, we don't really want you to fight this guy. but And then he can respond at the same time you're saying that. But I you did, say, I said it to you. No, no. But you say something. To you. You didn't say it to me. You I said, said it, it on TV first or no, on radio. No, I didn't. I said it oh directly my, to you, Derek. Oh, my directly, goodness. No, you did not do it directly. Directly to you. No, you did not. You said yes, it on I radio. Did. This is why This is why me and you didn't really get along because you said it behind my back. Never. Never did. And you know I didn't. I said it directly in a conversation with you. And if you want me to, I can prove it. Please I said it prove. specifically to you. Please. I can produce Please. you the audio. We'll do it after the show. Please. But I can categorically, and you know it. Yeah, and that was the second time. No, 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 no. no. The, sec the second time we did it in the studio. No, no. You no. told me, oh, you won't do that to my face. I said, well, come in the studio. And in the studio you came because I got older. Jason Schifrin asked you to come in, and in you came, and you said, it's all well and good you saying it down the phone to me. You won't say it to my face. So I said, I've just said it to your face. Actually, you know what? You but did. But was it unfair? No, 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 no. Was it no. unfair? And my point is, is, you're not alone in this. Why am I, why is anybody? Anybody that is not a boxer, I can't do what you do. I haven't got the bollocks to do what you do. Right? No, but, but, but I can but, have an opinion on it, can't I? No, you, you're allowed your opinion. But so the why, same time, why do but you not complain you're, every you're, time you're, someone you're, deals with You're missing the point. Yeah, you're allowed your opinion. But give yeah. the other person as well time to respond. I did. You know, this, this, this is the same way Tyson didn't want you to come to Saudi. I yeah. didn't want to go. Yeah. I can assure you the last place I wanted to go was watch that pantomime of a fight. No, and, but, but, and, and as far as I'm concerned... But yeah, you're missing the point. End of the day, it's called entertainment. I, I agree with that. Yeah, end of the but day, you're missing you my you point. You I'm trying to understand why you fighters, because you're men, you're proper men. And I've been in sport where I've not seen the character that you guys have, yet the moment you're criticised, I don't understand it. You know, it's, it's okay if you want to criticise. Criticise, great. But don't put it in a tone that... I'm a three-year-old. I should bow down to you and everybody listens to you. And they say, you know what? Maybe it's right. Maybe it's right. Because at the end of the day, when you say, oh, I don't want to see the third fight with Dylan, you are messing up with my money now. And that's the yeah. point of it. Yeah. You are messing up and with my... And you told my, me that. Yeah, you are messing up with my money. Yeah. You're actually And you killing, told me that. Yeah, you're you killing... You me on air. Yeah, you're killing my money because yeah. I'm trying to promote a fight here. And you're like, oh, we won't watch that. So instead of me sell 18,000 tickets, now I'm going to sell... 7,000 tickets because of your words. No. So this is a... No, no, but I'm just... I'm, 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 you, Derek. We're just, we're, we're just, we're just me, having a conversation. So it's just, it's just a point of like, your words sometimes are bad, yeah, for, for, for business, for other fighters, do you understand? Yes, you mean great by saying, oh, we want to do this and you should, why are you fighting that fight, you know? You know, 
when Tyson said he was fighting that fight, I was happy for him. But the only thing I'm trying to establish with you is that, is, is that it surprises me and disappoints me. I understand what you're saying because you told me, you said to me, if you say shit about me and my fights, what it does is it depreciates potentially. The more the media slag off the fight, the less there's an interest in it. And I got it. But it doesn't mean that the observation wasn't fair comment. It's not my job to sell your tickets. It's if someone asks me opinion, do you want to see Derek Chisora fight Dillian White? And I go, no, because I don't think it's a great fight. That's the end of the conversation. No, no. End of conversation, you'll be like, no. And that's it. You don't have to say it by anything else. Just say no. Uh, are you going to go to the fight? No, I'm going to take my wife out for dinner. Great. They, now, now there's no problem there, is there? But when you say, no, I want to watch that. I don't want to see that. I don't want Now you're putting more negative on the fight. Okay. This, so this what I'll do is I'll get a script from boxers of what I am allowed to no, say. What no, I'm not no, no, no. Don't get a script. Listen, you're your own man. Say what you want to say. I don't really care. But don't say anything about my right. fights from so, now on. So we'll agree that you're all thin skinned. No, 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 I'm cool, but you have something to say. You're killing our business. We don't kill your business. So you're you the... do. You ban us. No? You don't come on air and go, I tell you what. But, but you know what? You're not banned from my on. shows. I love you to come to my shows. I always, um, I love you guys to come to my shows. I'm cool with you guys. I Listen, I love everybody. Of course. Yeah? Because it's good value. Because if I didn't love you, you would know. I know where you live as well. <laughs> oh, that's another thing I heard about that. You know where I live. Yeah, you can bring me some five guys around, can't you? Yeah, you, you know, one day I'll knock for you and say, let's yes, have five guys. Thank you. Like, I heard that little bell like, threat with you and your little mate, Eddie Hearn. Uh, uh, I heard that. Uh, uh,